YouTube. My name is Allie. Welcome to my channel. I have a lot of green going on here, but I promise it's not my favorite color. That doesn't matter. Anyways, I am going on a Royal Caribbean cruise to Perfect Day Coco Cay and the Bahamas. So it's only two stops, one day at sea, back in Miami on Monday, leaving on Friday. And yeah, I'm doing a very light travel. So pre-COVID 2019, I went on a week cruise in Carnival, um, I don't know, Carnival, whatever, Horizon, I think. Um, and I brought, you know, it was a week, so I brought a carry-on suitcase, did the whole thing, flew Delta. But this time, I am flying Spirit, never flown them before. And so I bought this bag. It's really efficient. It doesn't look like it. But it's like a backpack bag and it has a lot of stuff in it. However, we're going to make it work because I'm not paying for a check bag. My flight was only like $130, $40 compared to Delta that was like $400. It's such a short trip. We're spending the day prior in Miami and leaving out the day of when the cruise returns. Sorry if you hear my dog. Come here. This is my dog. He's so cute. This is blue. Okay, go away blue. So if you hear him growling, that's why. Anyway, sorry for the distraction. So <laughs> I am going to pack and show you how I pack, how, how I fit all my outfits. So I'm trying to have two swimsuits a day and two dresses per day. One for the boat slash island and one for like the nighttime dinner. So this is a challenge and I'm gonna try to make it work because I'm gonna check the bag. So uh, let's get packing. Again, here's the bag. It has a pocket here. I guess a charger, haven't looked into that. Kind of like a regular school bag here. This is a, a nice deep pocket. Here is for toiletries. This is a nice deep pocket. I love these straps for holding in the clothes. On the back, you have this handle for your suitcase. You have clamps here to help you close the bag on the side, top and bottom. You also have an additional space for storage here. Laptop, this is like a shoe compartment and additional pretty shallow pocket there so this is what we're working with and of course your cup holder so before you ask i don't really have pajamas packed in this video because i'm bringing that yoga set that you'll see it's just spandex shorts and a yoga top and then i am it's pretty windy in texas it's december but it's it's around like 60s so of course i'm going to wear like spandex leggings to the airplane um airport whatever and then i'm going to wear like a tank top a t-shirt and a crew neck hoodie so the combination of those shorts leggings t-shirts tops will just be my pajamas i'm not really prioritizing sleepwear because i can just wear it's only three days you know i could just interchange those three two set two bottoms and three tops to be my pajamas so that's the only thing that may be different with some of your trips if you decide to use this bag too you kind of have to prioritize what's important and for me it was bringing as many dresses and swimsuits as possible <laughs> my toiletries deodorant toothbrush sun lotion nose spray earplugs lint roller my passport is in here some shades i haven't packed my undies and socks that's I was that last, not going to show that on camera. <laughs> this is a waterproof phone holder. These are pasties and hair ties. There is some BC powder and liquid IV. I need to get more liquid IV because we are getting the drink package. Um, and these are allergy medicines, vitamin C. Because my allergies were really bad on the first cruise. Um, here is more cocoa butter, lotion, body wash, tooth paste my toothbrush my rag just in case i don't know 
Uh, I want to bring all of this film for my cute little camera. I just got it from Walmart. And here are, this is for the Bahamas. This is a cover up swimsuit, maybe a, a dinner dress, shoes. So total, these are all the dresses. This is eight dresses. Here is a beach bag. These are three like clothy, you know, tie covers. This is a yoga set. This is also a cover up, cover up shirt and shorts. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven swimsuits. And I'm going to attempt to fit all of this inside this bag. And again, I'm wearing dresses because it fits my lifestyle and the ease of changing and dressing, very lightweight clothing. But if you're a guy or if you just want to wear shorts and t-shirts, do you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just make sure. Okay. I also have bottle holder, although I think only Carnival has the large wire bottle, so I might not need that. And of course, I'll pack my phone charger, AirPods, last minute. Okay, this is the best setup I come up come up with. So I'm going to start with the toiletries. I feel like they're so bulky that it's a little easier to start with those. So I got my squeezables in here, just in case they pop open. I guess I don't need two toothbrushes. <laughs> I'm gonna put my toothbrush in this pouch. What's that one? Tasty can go in there. Definitely need this flow nase and here. I'm gonna put earplugs. I may put in the front. So I might need this for the plane. This is gonna go in there. So is that in there? Now the powders, PC powder, all that. I'm going here. I feel like my washcloth. I guess I don't need the box, but whatever. Okay. Here's the hard part. So these are just thin dresses. Just spaghetti strap mostly. I want to try the roll, the roll method. And I try to pull these outward. They don't stay very well. This is another spaghetti strap dress. I definitely need my lint roller because my dog, as you've seen, has been all over my bed. This is a, a V neck knee length dress, pretty thick. This is more sort of a cover up dress, very thin kind of see-through, so probably wear this on a beach day. I'm wearing this in the Bahamas. 
I bought it specifically <laughs> for the Bahamas from Nasty Girl website. And it actually has a matching headscarf slash cover up. I don't know, but that's for later. Here's the dress. This is a shorter, cute little thigh length U back dress. This is just a razor back knee length thigh length dress might wear this in miami because we might uh, go to dinner the night before the cruise so just trying to wear simple things that are versatile well this is my favorite dress i got from pretty little things it's like a a boyfriend length dress shirt I don't know. Dress shirt, but like silky, but like make it girl. So I'll wear that like, I remember they had like a captain's dinner night or like a one dinner night that was fancier than the rest. So that is what this is for. Getting real thick up in here. Okay, so now I'm going to put in my cover-ups, fill in the gaps. So this is just a thigh length, very see-through, pretty little things, cover up, and I'll just tuck it in here, here are my, my headscarf cover up thing, I don't really know. More cover ups. Now I have swimsuits to match most of these or like interchange them. And I'm just sticking them in like the tiny crevices. This is a front tie shirt cover up that I could wear with these shorts. Cute little frilly shorts from Pretty Little Things. No, this is from Shein. You know, I love a, a Shein haul. But um, the shirt I got a while back doesn't have a tag anymore. And this is from Pretty Little Things. Just to go with the shorts or to just wear plain with the swimsuit. It's a pretty long t-shirt. Um, cheer rainbow. So I might wear it with the pink shorts, but it's really cute with just a swimsuit on as well. Okay. So, so these are clean clothes that are newly bought, ripped off a tag, or they are uh, freshly washed if, you know, already had them. However, um, my dog's about to start chewing. If you hear smacking, that's my dog eating his food. Sorry. <laughs> but I I do like to spray my luggage with perfume because when it's traveling, you want it to smell nice and new as if you just leave the house. So, judge me or not. I don't know if this is normal. So now I am going to... This is my yoga set. I'm not necessarily going to do yoga. It's more so like in case I'm sleeping and I need like... Just a little bralette and like some little shorts. We do have a balcony. So excited with my bestie. Okay, so now uh, I'm just gonna put the socks in here for now. Again, this is only one pair of socks. Of course, I'm gonna go back and put more undergarments and socks later. 
I'll just squeeze that on top. So this is a pink swimsuit from, almost all my swimsuits are from Shein, not gonna lie. This is an orange swimsuit. Black. Tan. Brown. Yellow. I don't know how to pack swimsuits, okay? And that is there. Now, I'm gonna put my passport in here. This is for the water. I'm gonna put that in there. Fits pretty nicely. I'm gonna put the shades in last because I do need to like sit on this. Um, Okay, I do need to fit this in here. This is a new thing. Okay. So I'm going to zip this up. Zip that up. I don't have anything in here yet, so I could put my under stuff in there. Oh, I need to unbuckle that just to... Zip it closed. So, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Mostly I forgot this. So I'm gonna put in the shoes first. This is my beach bag. Um, I need to, so you see these like pockets? I put one of each in because it doesn't really fit too that well. And then I'm going to face these the other way so they don't uh, get all dirty. Okay, that fits, that fits. I'm not bringing any tennis shoes. Uh, I'm wearing these with leggings and probably a sweatshirt like this and a t-shirt under on the plane. Uh... I don't think I'll do any rock climbing or really active stuff. I'm more of a, a lounger, lay out, have a drink, not very active. <laughs> so I'm not bringing any gym shoes, but I would recommend wearing your thickest shoes, of course, as is the rule for traveling. So this bag, I don't know y'all. Last time I just like did like that. And I think this will be big enough. You know how you gotta like, <sighs> Get on. Okay. Okay. So it's looking good. I don't know if it'll be too thick for spirit. I don't think so. Um bring your zippers to the top so they don't fall out and with the straps okay this is what I do you want to loosen the strap again I've never used this so I hope it stays but you want to loosen the strap first as much as they can go and then buckle it And then pull it as tight as possible to make it hopefully less thick. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. I hope so. But we'll see. So I'm gonna loosen it. Loosen it. So the only thing I did not pack is this. I don't know if I'll need it, but I can stick it in here. For now, I'm going to put these here so I don't break them for the day of. I'll probably do like that. Um, yeah, 
Yay, here's our backpack. So again, the only problem is this bad boy. I could try to put it on the side, but I don't think that'll fly. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try to put it around my neck in my sweater. Don't tell Spirit. Spirit, if you're watching, please forgive me. I have to figure out how to get this on the plane. I don't know if it'll, like my plane pillow, one second. So my plane pillow, of course, boom. Always planned on doing that around my neck. The book bag, it probably only weighs like five pounds or so. It looks pretty solid. So this is, this is how I imagine myself, right? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm about to go right now. Okay, so boom, boom, but then it's like, would they count this as like a purse? Cause you know you can't have a purse on spirit. Boom, this is how I'm gonna pull up. <laughs> this, this right here, that's how I imagine myself. Is anybody ever excited to travel like me? I have three days, but this is me. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out, this is my only hurdle, figuring out what to do with the camera. If it will be allowed to just wear around my neck or do I need to try to, I'll just probably stuff it on the side. I don't know. Do you have any ideas? By the time you watch this video, I will have already have flown. And my friend, I'm flying out of Texas to Miami. My friend is in Indiana. Ugh, I wish I was going with her because she's bringing a check bag. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching. This bag is a 10 out of 10. I haven't even traveled yet and I love it. As you see, I fit so much in it. And I guess I can measure it. You probably wanna know what the dimensions are. So, looking at about I don't know, 13 across, 13, 14 across, looking at, it's about 16, 17, and the width, so 13 by 17 by, that's definitely 10. I know it says like by nine, so, I mean, it's a little, pushing the specs a little bit. I'll put the exact dimensions in the comment box and yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it works. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching my video on my book bag. It's so heavy like this. Yeah, thanks for watching my video. I'm very excited. I uh, don't know what to do about this. I'm probably going to watch more advice videos. Hopefully I can get away with it. But yeah, other than that, love the book bag. Again, I'm wearing slides, leggings, t-shirt, and sweater. Because it gets kind of night on the cruises. I mean, night. It gets kind of cold and windy at night. So, wish me luck. That's all I got to say. I'll let you know. I'll insert photos and yeah, let me know below if you have any questions. Bye. Hey YouTube, we're back. Me and Blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Blue doesn't really want to be bothered. Okay, so I am back. It is, I just said that, my bad. It's January 2nd and it's been like two weeks since the cruise. Once I gave a little update, I do have on my Nassau Bahamas sweatshirt. We did get these on sale, aka we bargained and we got a little discount. <laughs> so do I like Spirit and what I fly again? Honestly, no. It was kind of awful, in my in my opinion. You you really, I don't want to talk too badly about Spirit because some of y'all might be some diehard Spirit. I watched so many videos of people flying it and y'all enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I, I actually I actually didn't like it. You actually get what you pay for. My flight was only $130 round trip, which is really affordable. So it's definitely a cost efficient flight 
you know, if you're trying to save money or if you just don't want to spend $400 on a flight. So that's the, the good thing about it. But the bad thing is, I feel like it's just kind of annoying and chaotic. Like, it's just different. And you really get what you pay for. And on the way there, like, I was sitting with a woman and she was kind of like taking up some of my seat. You know what I mean? So I moved to a different seat and because I have some more space because she was in the middle, whatever. I moved to a different seat and because that row was empty and the little boy was kicking the seat, y'all, like crazy. Like his leg at one point was through the gap and sitting on my armrest. He was probably like four years old and he was banging the, the, the chair thing on the back of the the seat and my my seat was doing that and his mama kept trying to tell him to stop but he wasn't listening he was just and at one point she just gave up and so i moved back next to the lady who was trying to kind of taking up some of my seat and it was just annoying it was just like really chaotic and not fun so the way that was on the way to miami from texas on the way from miami to texas back home it was a three hour straight flight and uh, I was in the aisle and the seat behind me by the window, like boom. The woman was coughing for two hours out of the three. I kid y'all not, y'all. She refused water, refused a mask, refused to cover her mouth. Well, I think she was covering it sometimes, but it was like a really mucusy, nasty cough. Everybody was complaining the whole entire time. So I had to blast my headphones to, for one, drown out her coughing and to drown out everybody's complaining. <laughs> like it was just chaotic and I did end up getting sick I know that could happen these things could happen on any flight technically but this was my flight on spirit and it was annoying okay it was a it was a bad experience and I did get sick the week before Christmas I actually thought I had COVID um, I took a test but it was negative thankfully but I had mucusy throat mucus uh, runny nose hurt swollen stuffy eyes sore throat and that was definitely from old girl because on the cruise i was breathing fine i was good like back in miami before the flight i was no symptoms i was good so it could have technically been the cruise but i come on now i'm sitting behind in front of somebody coughing for two hours on a flight it had to be that so unfortunately i did not put on my mask i kind of forgot that i had one and spirit wasn't giving out on no mask at all so i don't think they had no mask <laughs> To be honest so bad experience flight i would only book it if i really wanted to save some money like if i really was getting a super extreme deal like 50 dollars, 70 dollars round trip flight other than that spirit is gonna be the last choice for now it was an experience i definitely saved some money but it wasn't a good experience so don't fight me that's just my ex my opinion <laughs> so as far as the cruise i really love royal the drink package was amazing the entertainment was really great however the weather was awful y'all so we booked the cruise in june for december and that was like one of the best months to go however it was like a tropical storm or something crazy and miami it was windy 65 rainy and we actually skipped coco k which was a punch in the face to be honest because i watched too many vlogs about how amazing coco k was with the drink package just to not go like when i say they tried to port four times and we were right up on the island like i could see the sign from my balcony like we were there like it was in reach almost and yeah they couldn't port they said it wasn't safe it was rainy it was cloudy the waves was just going crazy so we had two days at sea and we did stop at the bahamas but the bahamas it was only clear skies for like an hour out of the eight hours on the island and it was raining the rest of the time so we found like some some fun spots indoor restaurants to go to may do for what it was but it definitely was not i like y'all i wanted to go to the beach i did not touch sand on this entire cruise at all devastating so I would not necessarily book the Coco K cruise again because another friend, I told her about it and they actually skipped it when she went. So it might be kind of common. I don't know, I don't wanna assume that, but it was disappointing, okay? So I did meet some really great people on the cruise. I had fun with my best friends and the, all the group, 
the the group I was with and the drink package definitely came in handy because I mean it's a rainy cruise what else are you gonna do but eat and drink so the entertainment was really good really funny so I mean for what it was we had a good time and we made do with what we did and as long as you're in good company and good entertainment you can have a good time but of course I wanted to go to Coco K I only wore one swimsuit I don't know if I already said that but I wore one swimsuit and that was at the hot tub. So I did not get to tan up on the deck like I thought I was, <laughs> like I did on Carnival. So Royal was really good overall and I would book it again, but I will only book it to like specific islands that maybe have a little more infrastructure to where they can port safely and you know, without question. So I don't know. Overall, of course, it was a little disappointing. I am definitely going to call Royal and complain and hopefully get a discount off the next. I don't know. People were saying to do that on the cruise. So I'm going to try to see if that works. Get a little discount for my next cruise. But yeah, my outfits, I think, were really good as far as the dresses. Like I wore all my dresses to a day like I thought I was. And I wasn't necessarily cold because although it was rainy and a little windy, it was still humid. So... I don't know, it's like that muggy Florida type of humid humidity a little bit in the in the middle of the, of the ocean, if that makes sense. If I had to do anything different, I would only take out maybe two swimsuits and instead put in an extra long sleeve shirt and an extra pair of shorts. So, so a little more loungy stuff. That's only because we was doing loungy stuff. Like we weren't, I didn't have to be in a dress looking nice the whole time like I did and I had a good time but basically it gave more casual sweats type of cruise because it was raining and we was indoors the whole time but other than that I think my clothes and everything I packed went to use the phone case carriage you know everything <laughs> so uh yeah that's my recap thanks for watching <laughs> Lou you you ruined my outro okay <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video.